Hi guys, my name is TJ and welcome back to TJ Smiles. Today is a super hot day. It's like 90 degrees and I'm sitting outside filming because my bedroom is a mess. I don't have to want to like clean it and make my bed in order to have a decent background. So I'm going to sit out here and have a heat stroke or something. <laughs> Today I'm doing another quotes video. Today I will be doing my favorite quotes from Morgan Matson's The Unexpected Everything. I read this book a while back and I did do a book review on it so I will link that in the down bar of this video but it will also be in my book review playlist. For those of you who don't know, Morgan Matson has become my favorite author this summer. I met her in May at BookCon and I was just like oh fangirl moment and then like since then I've read every book but Second Chance Summer by her so like I'm, I'm just hyped for some Morgan Matson. so like here are my favorite quotes from the unexpected everything okay so the first quote I noticed that I really liked was on page 98 and it says one thing I've realized is that just because you have children you don't necessarily automatically have a relationship with them you have to work at it make them a priority and take the time to get to know them on page 102, it says, I wasn't about to start begging my dad to pay attention to me. On page 137, it says, Theoretical crushes could remain perfect and flawless because you never actually had to find out what that person was really like or deal with the weird way they chewed or anything. <laughs> and that one's just funny. The end's funny. But, like, the message behind it is so true. Like, if I have a crush in my head and it just stays there, it could be as perfect as I want. But once I start, like, physically talking to that guy, he could be a creeper or it could just not work out. <laughs> Current situation. <laughs> it wasn't a spark or a shiver or anything I heard described in cheesy love songs. It was more like when someone touches you on a spot where you're ticklish. That kind of heated awareness. Page 159. This idea that the person who kisses you first, with that kiss, a little piece of your soul, and they have a hold of you forever. Page 216. When someone has seen you wearing their clothes, not to mention first thing in the morning, I was pretty sure you no longer had to impress them as much with your sartorial, 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 sartorial choices. <laughs> Page 223. Why can't I say that? I wished I could have told him too. Wished he was someone that I could tell things to. Page 240. On page 303, the idea that you could rethink the thing you'd always thought you'd wanted and change your plan. It was almost a revolutionary concept. Anything could be an adventure, even just driving around in pajamas. Page 342. This right here is my favorite quote from the book. I use it all the time on Instagram photos and all that stuff. I, tell, I text it to my friends sometimes too. It's just a great, great quote. I love it. It says, I'd sometimes look at other people at my school. The girls who seemed to thrive on drama and were always fighting with their friends. The ones who didn't even seem to like their friends that much and know just how lucky I was. This quote is found on page 352. It is also found many times on my Instagram account. <laughs> Lastly, on page 369, I just wish I knew what was going to happen next. Don't we all? I would love to know where I'm going next in life, but life is an adventure and it's a great ride and we all just have to hold on tight and wait for things to happen. That was all the quotes I found from The Unexpected Everything that I loved and I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!